Yeah, good morning. Yeah, my name is Yajima from Kajima Corporation in Japan. Uh, today, I, I would like to talk about the uh, Kajima's view and share my perspective for future construction from industries. May I see it and speak here? And this is uh, today's agenda. I will introduce Kajima's beam, starting from theory and followed by methods, seven methods. But first of all, let me introduce our company, uh, Kajima, briefly. Yes. Uh, Kajima started business in 1840, so it means that we have more than 170 years of histories. We are a Tokyo-based company, and having around 7,500 employees. The amount of sales in physical year 2015 was around 15 billion US dollars, and ordinary income was around 1 billion US dollars. Uh, we have uh, 12 branch offices in Japan, and we are also a global company having four regional headquarters in Europe, USA, Asia, and Australia. We provide total engineering covering life cycle building construction. I can show you some of our major works in Tokyo. We built many iconic buildings in Japan. And next is, uh, those are some of our works of overseas. As I mentioned, Kajima has a long history. And Kajima was first well known for Western style building and railways, skyscrapers, and nuclear uh, new power plants. Now we want to be known as uh, Open Beam in Kajima. Actually, we have some official roles of promote Open Beam in, uh, internationally. From this year, we are invited as a member of SAC of Building Smart International, which is the most prominent beam organization in the world. And SAC consists of only six companies in the world, and Kajima is only one company from Asian region and the construction domain. And from two years ago, we are a member of the International Panel of Expert Under Building Construction Authority, BCA, in Singapore as well. And we are number one by the number of beam projects too. This chart shows the number of Kajima's beam projects in Japan. In year 2015, we conducted approximately uh, 300 projects in a single year. Total number of beam projects is 430 in Japan and 740 in worldwide. I believe no, uh, no other companies can be compared to this number. So I want to share our theory and methods based on our experience. From now, I want to explain theory expanding our uh, background of BIM. Then I hope you can understand much more about your BIM as well. Here comes our teacher, Patrick McLemy, you know. Uh, as you know, uh, well, he is a founder and the chairman of Building Smart International, and also uh, he is a CEO of HOK. The many people can hear him a godfather of BIM, and he is also a friend of mine. Uh, sorry. This chart describes his theory uh, uh, known as McLemy curves. This is a major curve in beam world. Uh, compared to traditional curve colors by black, McLemy curves has its peak in earlier stage of project. The peak located in design phase. Because of uh, Patrick great influence, but beam is design phase have been focused on by many people. But now under open beam, I want to propose a different curb. Before mentioning the another curb, I want to show this chart. It shows software linkage under open beam. 
And those software are standardized to keep interoperability of BIM data. Now we have a variety of BIM software for many purposes. So we can apply BIM at any phases of construction. In these circumstances, BIM data can be driven by, the, uh, by users. And BIM data can be distributed to various purposes. It means uh, you don't need to optimize the BIM data at the early stage of, pro uh, of project. You can just use the existing data and do your best in your process. And more. It is specific character in Japan, but uh, Japan's construction company create construction drawing by uh, themselves. We had in Finland and France, they do some process as well. In most of the uh, country in the world, design drawings include all information and construction is carried out using these documentations. On the other hand, in Japan, design drawings do not have enough information for construction. You can understand it obviously with comparing uh, those two drawings. You can see an amount of information in construction drawing right side and compared with design drawing left side. It means in design phase, BIM is used for considering what to make. And in construction phase, BIM is used for deciding detail and how to make them. So we need much more information in construction phase. So under consideration of those matters, I want to propose different curve. And this yellow curve, which I propose to call Yajima curve. If it is a design build project, Makaremi curve works quite well. However, if we join project from construction phase, Yajima curve works better. So let me explain Yajima curve in detail. It has four characters. First one is rapid model. It is handover phase from design to construction. We should understand the design inputs and transform them to construction beam. So we, uh, we put much effort and uh, normally we finished it within one week. Uh, second one is sharing. We share basic BIM model with our project uh, members as soon as possible. We use it for project review mainly at, the, uh, at this stage. Third one is long tail. Uh, rest of construction period, we continuously update BIM data. So BIM effort is shaped like long tail. We maintain BIM model to create construction drawing uh, through project and use it for multiple purposes. For example, cross check, uh, construction planning, consensus building, and so on. Uh, last one is forward looking described by Allo. You can see backward just that uh, construction handover phase. After that, you should uh, look what to use BIM for completing your project. Uh, those are four characters of Yajima curves. I introduced my curve. If it works on your process, you can use it. From now, I would like to explain detail of our method. Today, I will introduce seven methods. First one is modeling and drawing. This is our main flow of modeling drawing. At first, we make base mo uh, basic BIM model for all projects. Uh, but BIM data is derived flexibly for adapting each project and purpose. Uh, but, but most of all, we use BIM model for creating 2D construction drawings. I want to explain why we put efforts to create construction drawings. There are three major uh, purposes. I will show you the detail one by one. The first purpose is to understand design, designer's inputs. 
And second, is the purpose is to achieve client's needs. And the last third is purpose is keep quality, uh, cost, and delivery. Uh, there are three purposes of creating construction drawings. In short, we Japanese contract uh, manage project by modeling and drawings. So how to manage this process is key for success in projects. And now, BIM changed the way of creating construction drawings. The first benefit is improved efficiency in creating a construction drawing. By cutting out from the model, plan, elevation, and section, and automatically transformed. Let me show you how the model and each drawing are all linked. When move the position of a wall in the plan, the position in the elevation and the 3D model are moved automatically. And when change the length in the property the setting, and the elevation and 3D modeling are changed automatically. The function save much labor uh, revision work on the compared with the conventional way. And we get beam-based construction drawing by cutting beam model horizontally by each floor. And then we add the dimensions and hatching by 2D functions. All those expression, uh, expressions of drawings can be operated by standard function of ArcCAD uh, from Grassoft. Uh, this is an example of a detailed floor plan. After selecting parts of beam model, we work to the uh, 2D drawings. The labels of walls and doors are displayed automatically from beam data. So detailed drawings are created after uh, consideration of beam model. Money-wise, uh, there is an obvious advantage too. With the help of beam, the uh, cost of creating drawings were reduced uh, drastically compared with ordinary way. Uh, all the <coughs> beginning of using beam-based drawing in 2012, total cost of drawing increased due to inexperience. But from next year, we achieved 10% cost down. And then finally, in year 2015, we achieved 6% reduction. And we also improve quality of drawings. Our drawing is different from ordinary one. We updated the expression of construction drawings. We call it next generation drawings. Because those drawings are 3D isometric, uh, we can deliver, uh, deliver much more information to construction workers directly. Needless to say, it can improve the quality of building. By adapting beam-based construction drawing, we can check all detail on beam model. We reduced errors and improved the accuracy of the drawings too. Next method is flexible, uh, flexible production system. Flexible means we can make beam model regardless of time zone, language, working place, and skill level. This is our modeling network in another world. We say it's supply chain as a Japanese car manufacturer established work worldwide. worldwide. We have three modeling partners abroad and two in Japan. So even as a scale beam model of high-rise building, we can make with one week by their corporations. Moreover, <clears throat> we want to expand this supply chain to 24 hours operation. And to realize it, we try to work with uh, companies in Central Europe here and South America. Of course, it took several years to have this supply chain. For ordinary model to those companies, we created a modeling order suite by ourselves. We clarify purpose of uh, modeling for each project considering character of project and the use of BIM. 
Uh, we decide the level of detail and the modeling method. And above all, it is quite important to share our way of thinking. So we took at least one year for on-the-job on the training for each company. With collaboration of those modeling companies and our cloud platform named Global BIM, we can flexibly allocate staff to various projects and manage BIM projects effectively. Next one is Global BIM. About 20 years ago, we started to use Acaro from first version. And from year 2012, <coughs> we start to use BIM server and teamwork function. Uh, with this BIM uh, server and teamwork function, uh, over 30 people can work together on same file simultaneously. But at the time, this collaboration function could be used only in closed network. So we start to migrate teamwork function on cloud network. It was migrated on cloud service provided by NTT Communications. We named it Global BIM and started to use it from year 2013. Now we have Global BIM version 2. It targets subcontractors which want to join BIM world. There are many small size subcontractors uh, working together in site offices. Global BIM version 2 can make them start with uh, uh, less investment cost. We Kajima can lend our arcade license to them through it. The figure shows how they borrow our license through internet. Subcontractors installed BIM Cloud team client on their PCs. And then and they can borrow arcade license from Kajima's license server. It works only Kajima's global BIM server, but has full function for BIM model. From now, <coughs> I want to introduce three systems. All those are for achieving further efficiency of BIM works. It is joint work with Dolotec. And the issue management system is for communication among BIM users. Uh, as I mentioned, we work globally on global BIM server. And our BIM network is not li uh, limited in Kajima, but expanded to modeling company and uh, subcontractors. So BIM manage managers who manage many projects uh, need to control communications between modelers and users. They should handle requests from users and inform them to modelers precisely. To make this process smart, we develop BIM issue management system with our partners. Uh, the system consists of arcade add-on and web-based system. If managers find the issue, they can add pop-up ma uh, marks on the model and save screenshot on arcade. And at the same time, the data is uploaded to web-based system to share with modelers too. Uh, BIM management system will be official add-on of Acad and sold in global market. GDL, next is GDL. GDL is developed for construction planning. Before explaining, please take a look at, the, at this chart. It shows the purpose of using BIM in construction sites. Uh, for site engineer, construction planning comes first, followed by consensus building, crash check, quantity estimation, and construction drawing. But for busy construction engineers, it is hard to make uh, construction planning on arcade from scratch. We can outsource BIM modeling to our partner companies, but we cannot outsource making construction planning it is essential know-how of a general contractor, and it should be done by construction engineers by themselves. So we developed BIM parts uh, written by GDL. GDL means the ge uh, geometric descri uh, description language to make it easy. Those are some of our GDL. 
This details include many temporary objects, which are actively used in construction sites, such as crane, temporary shoring, scaffold, and so on. Uh, they also have menu called API, Application Pro Programming Interface, which can change GDL dynamically by se uh, selecting and setting parameters. With those GDLs, we can make construction planning in short time with less effort. And GDL objects developed by Kajima and packaged and named Smart Comp Planner and sold in Asian markets um, through the, our partner Dorotec and our company. And in Kajima, we did much more for the construction planning to make it more efficient. We automated execution of APIs. It is one of our trials to apply artificial intelligence to construction works. This is a movie of a learning process of automated construction planning. For a set base, uh, basic beam model on the ground, which was prepared by modelers, the program created exca excavation area automatically by recognition and, uh, of underground concrete shapes. This is the result of excavation program. Next, program allocates temporary shoring automatically. Yeah, sorry, just start. And next, temporary slots are uh, automatically allocated. <coughs> yes. The finally, working platform is set automatically by recognition of gate position. Yes. Now we have uh, initial planning model within a few minutes. Now, site engineer have initial model. They can start further planning manually by editing each GDLs. Next one is automated design documentation. This system is designed and developed by IDEA. IDEA is uh, one of the famous uh, architects in Philippines and Kajima. The purpose of this system is to remove repeat, uh, repeated works, including setting of scale, layer, and drawing frames. It can reduce time and work for creating and updating documents. Just uh, take a look at how it generate documentations. It is for selecting documents. And press <coughs> generate button. Then selected document are created automatically from BIM model. The last one is IoT. Now we are getting into Internet of Things at the construction site. We start to change building production system with IoT. Uh, firstly, we set BIM uh, data to crane objects. This movie shows optimized process of two cranes with AI. It can uh, simulate the process of assembling precast components, such as clamp, beam, and strap. Moreover, with virtual reality technology, we can examine the process from any angles too. If we adapt this data to real crane, they can automatically move their booms and lift components. To realize through automation, uh, IoT technology such as IC tip and wireless sensor and robotic must be integrated or work together. And all fabricators and distributors should be involved for optimizing and uh, logistic as well. We believe <coughs> there is a big possibility to apply BIM 
to IoT. So far, I introduced you as my carb in theory and seven methods. From now, I want to talk about our future vision for construction. We have been continuously thinking of low low beam. We try to set beam to center of our project, uh, production system. And then we earn profit from buildings. But now we think beam as an interface. Image we have now is like this. Uh, beam give us good interface for add-on tool and other programs. With these tools, Kajima can improve the productivity for construction. And now we can also provide many services to new customers. In other words, we will be construction service product, uh, pro uh, provider. And furthermore, we want to change our construction sites as a center of IoT. There are many subcontractors working with us. We want to link BIM data uh, to IoT to establish new production system. To make it possible, an open BIM must be spread in construction industry and also in manufacturing industry. So let, <coughs> let's expand open BIM to construction sites. Thank you. That's all.